Uh, it's been very busy, but good. It's always kind of a sprint to the fin finish with uh, with this event. You know, any time for, for folks maybe who've planned a wedding in the past. You know, if you think about having a wedding with 150 people, plan a wedding for 3,000 people. And, and, you know, those last few days are going to be busy, but things are falling into place, and uh, we're really excited about it. All right, let's talk about local folks who may be attending this thing. Mm -hmm. If they want to keep their cars in one central location, you got sure. some shuttle buses that are going to be helping out. That's right. We have uh, two free shuttle vans that will be uh, going on a constant loop all weekend. They're sponsored by VisitMartinsville.com, which is uh, the EDC's official tourism website for the area. Uh, there'll be two locations that they're picking up here in the in the region. The Wild Magnolia uh, restaurant parking lot, which is in the back of the Patrick Henry Mall, and also the Dutch Inn um, hotel parking lot in Collinsville. They're going to pick up roughly every 30 to 40 minutes because there are two of them. Uh, they'll take you to the front gate of the festival, and then when you're ready to leave the festival, they'll pick you up at the front gate and take you back uh, to either the Dutch Inn or Wild Max. And for folks who may have held out to the last minute looking mm -hmm. for tickets, there are some options there as well? Sure, yeah. Uh, tickets are available locally at Binding Time Cafe, which is in the Druid Hills Shopping Plaza, also at Woodall's Music and Sound in Collinsville. And then, of course, if you want to get them at the gate, uh, they're available um, Thursday through uh, through Sunday. Single day tickets are the same price whether you get them in advance or whether you get them at the gate. There is a bit of an increase if you buy a weekend pass at the gate as opposed to getting it here from Binding Time or Woodalls. So talk about some of the performers this year. A lot of new faces, but still some old favorites. Sure, yeah. Well, the headliners this year uh, we're really excited about Leftover Salmon, which is a uh, really big and well-known progressive bluegrass band from Boulder, Colorado. Been around for about 22 years. They were one of the headliners of Floyd Fest last year. They played literally all over the country and internationally. You can say the same about Ivan Neville's Dumpster Funk. Uh, Ivan Neville, of course, uh, part of the, the Neville Brothers family tree from down there in New Orleans. A really famous uh, New Orleans funk band. Uh, one of the headliners of the New Orleans Jazz Fest every year. And again, you know, they, they crisscross the country all year round playing music. Uh, in front of huge, huge crowds, and, and we're just really excited about having those two at the top of the lineup. Some other bands, uh, Yarn is playing two nights, Friday and Sunday, as well as Kung Fu, which is a very popular jam band, rock and roll type band. Uh, Sister Sparrow and the Dirty Birds is a funk R&B type group from Brooklyn. Um, also some, some local groups, uh, Larry Keel and Sammy Sheeler, they aren't necessarily Martinsville, but Larry Keel's from Natural Bridge. He's one of the world's best flat, flat picking guitar players, a bluegrass guy. Sammy Sheeler, of course, from up there, uh, Meta Zidane, is the lead man for the Lonesome River Band. They're going to be playing together for the first time publicly, along with Jenny Keel, who's uh, Larry's wife, and um, a fiddle player, Shannon Wheeler. So give us some advice. If you're going to pack a bag and mm -hmm. you're going to head out for a long day and a long evening of music. Should you pack a field chair? Should you get some sunscreen? What are the do's and don'ts? Absolutely. Uh, it's uh, kind of similar to if you're going to a concert at an outdoor amphitheater. There are no seats in the ground, so feel free to bring lawn chairs. Feel free to bring a, a blanket to spread out on the grass. Of course, you're going to want to bring some sunscreen. Um, coolers are welcome. It's just no outside alcohol, but you can bring in soft drinks and water. You can bring in food, uh, sandwiches, or, or actual food to, to cook on a grill, for example. Um, so, you know, pack kind of like it would be a, a, a day trip to a park, and uh, just, you know, bring what you can to be comfortable, um, and uh, come out and have a good time all weekend with us. If they want to drive themselves, what's the best set of directions? Just hit up Figsboro Road and look yep. at the signs? Figsboro Road, and there's a new restaurant that a lot of people will probably be familiar with, Meemaw's. You're going to turn at Meemaw's, that's Muddy Fork Road going to go about a half mile down that road and take a ride on Cooper's Mountain Road. That's the road with, uh, with the actual festival venue. It's 1920 Cooper's Mountain Road, about two and a half miles from that turn off Muddy Fork, and there will be signage out there all week, uh, you know, instructing people, turn here, turn here. 